Hey guys, welcome back to my collection declutter series. Today I'm gonna to be doing blushes. I have a gazillion blushes. This is mostly drugstore. I have a second drawer here, mostly high end. And then I have a third drawer below this one that has overflow. And then I have another drawer that has ColourPop. So I think I'm gonna divide these into drugstore and high end blushes. So there's two separate videos. So today I'm gonna to be doing my drugstore portion. So I already tried to, I've already tried to film this a couple times, but my daughter woke up from her naps. So I'm gonna try this again. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is a Revlon cream blush. It's called Charmed Enchantment. I just really don't love this. I just feel like it blends away to almost nothing and I just, I'm not a fan. So I'm going to pass this one along. Another one I'm gonna pass along is this one that I got in a Mimi box a long time ago and I used to use this a ton. It is a really pretty like matte shade and I hope the lighting's okay, let me adjust. All right, so I adjusted the lighting. I hope it's okay now. Um, so this is a really pretty color and I used to use it all the time but I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. It came with a little powder puff in here, but I threw that away because obviously it's not very sanitary. So I'm going to pass this along. I'm also gonna pass this one along. This one's by Physician's Formula. It's the Happy Booster Blush in Rose. I just never use this, and I have a lighter one that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to pass Rose. So I have some from Milani that I think I'm gonna get rid of. This one is the Milani Baked Blush in Coralina. I just don't like the texture of this one. It just feels kind of gritty. Actually, it doesn't feel as gritty as it did, maybe because I used it, but um, it has like bigger flecks of shimmer in it, and I'm just not crazy about the texture of this one, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. So this one's Dulce Pink and um, this one, I'm not sure, let's see. It's just kind of flaky. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one as well. All right, this is another Milani Baked Blush in Bella Rosa, and it's such a pretty color. I think I'm gonna keep this only because I like the texture and I wanna use it really lightly, but if I don't use it and like it, I'm gonna get rid of it. But for now, I'm gonna keep this one. This one is another one from Milani. It's Delicioso Pink. This one's really pretty. It's a cool tone pink. I love cool tone pink, so I'm going to keep that one. This one is Milani's Luminoso, and I love Luminoso. It's one of my all-time favorite blushes. It just has a lot smoother texture than the other two I got rid of, and it's like a peachy color. It's so pretty. I'm gonna keep that. So this is another Happy Booster blush from Physicians Formula. This one's in natural. This one I am going to keep. It's a lighter pink and I think this one I like much better. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is another Physicians Formula. This one's Blushing Glow. It's the Mineral Wear Blush. This one is so pretty. Let's see. Oof. I think I'm gonna keep this. I need to use this. I just never use it, but I really like the shade of it. It's kind of powdery, but a really pretty light shade so I'm gonna keep that one these two are also physicians formula this one is the powder palette multicolored custom blush this one is for blondes and I'm going to keep this one it has a nice pink sheen to it this one is for brunettes and it's more like a peachy coral color I'm going to keep that one as well this one is a Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Blush as well, and this one's Rosy Glow. I really like this color. I think I'm gonna keep this one for now. This one is the NYX Baked Blush. It's the Illuminate and Bronzer Blushes. This one is called Sugar, Sugar Mama. It's really soft but I just don't really like this color on me. It's almost too orangey peach. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is from Hard Candy. It's the Blush Crush Baked Blush in Pin Up. I love these, you guys, they're so pretty. I don't think they sell all of these shades anymore. 
but it's a very neutrally like sheeny blush. Love that one, keeping it. This one as well, this one is called Honeymoon. It's just so pretty, look at that. So I'm keeping this one. This one is the Glow All The Way Ombre Baked Blush in Punch. They do have two shades of this, but I only have one. And again, it's very sheeny, but it's so pretty. Keeping that one. I could even use blush and then this side as a highlight because it's light enough. So I have four of the L'Oreal True Match blushes. I love these because they're very like wearable. They're very light and they're buildable which I like in a blush because I can go heavy handed with my blushes. So I like when they're like light and you can build them up. So I love all these. This one is Baby Blossom. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the first ones I ever had. So I ended up purchasing more, but it's just a very light pink. Love this. This one is more of a peachy color. It's called Innocent Flush. And all these have a very slight sheen to them but they are so pretty on the cheeks, but you do have to build them up. So that one is Innocent Flush. This one is called Bear Honey. This one's probably my least favorite of the four that I have. It's just a very nude shade. It's probably very hard to see on my complexion, but that one keeping. And then this one is called Tender Rose. And I got a little bit of hard pan on this one because I swatched it with a wet finger one time. And so I got hard pan right there. But So I'm keeping all of those. So this one's my Makeup Revolution. It's the matte blush and this one is called Nude. I love this. It's so soft. And it's such a pretty color. Sorry about my phone, I have to turn it off, but look at that color. Isn't it so pretty? Keeping that. So I have a bunch of the City Color Cosmetics blushes. This one's called Sunset Safari. These are the matte blushes. I love these. They have a very similar texture actually to the one that I showed you from Makeup Revolution. So I'm gonna keep Sunset Safari. And this one is Papaya. Love this one. Actually, this might be similar to the Makeup Revolution one. It's very close, actually. Very, very close. This one's Huava. Really pretty, keeping that. This is Blood Orange. Look at how pigmented that is. That is crazy pigmented. This one I think I'm going to get rid of. And this one is a cool toned pink and it's called Pink Grapefruit. And it's just a very vibrant cool toned pink. So I'm going to keep that one because I love cool toned pinks. So I'll move on to these Milani ones. I haven't even opened them all. So this one is the Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blush. I love this color. It is so pretty. Definitely keeping that one. Hold on. I feel like these swatch better on the cheeks than they do on the hand. <laughs> like you can barely even see it on my hand, but this is beautiful, I love it. So I'm keeping that one. This one I'm also keeping, it's called Flora Passion. I love the packaging on these too. This one I'm also keeping, it's called Bella Rosa. These swatch terribly, so please forgive me. This one is called Warm Petals. I'm gonna keep that one. That one you can see a little bit better. This one is called Love Potion. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It hasn't even been opened yet. And this one is Tea Rose. This one's Tea Rose. I have not opened it, but I think I'm gonna keep this one. This one is not opened. It's called Coral Cove, and I think I'm going to pass this one. So some of these items I will be selling. So this one I'm gonna get rid of. And same with this one. This one is called Lady Rouge, and I have never used it before. 
This is a CoverGirl blush. It's in Clean Glow Blusher. Peaches is the name of this one. I think I'm just going to get rid of this. I have not used this a whole lot. I think I liked it when I did use it, but I just haven't touched it since and it's been a long time. So getting rid of that one. Here's one more of these. This one is called Awakening Rose and I'm going to keep this one. It's so pretty. This one has more of a sheen finish. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. So I have these two cream blushes from City Color Cosmetics. I love these. This is the Tarot Sorbet shade. I love this one. It's my favorite. It's so pigmented and it's like a mauve color. It blends out beautifully and I like the formula of these so I'm going to keep that one. This one is called Watermelon Sorbet. It's really vibrant but I can sheer it out and oops, a little cap came off but I'm keeping that one as well. Beautiful. Alright, this one is an old, I mean old Milani blush and I just recently opened it because I used to love this. It was a favorite. It's called Luminous. And it's kind of like NARS Orgasm. I think I'm actually going to pass on that one. It's really pretty and it used to be an all-time favorite. But I've just moved on from it, so I'm going to pass that one. So this one's from NYX. It's the Blush in Peach. And I love... Oh, I just nicked it. This is so pretty. It's just a... Oops, I swatched it over that other one. But it's a really pretty color. I'm going to keep it. This one is by Victoria's Secret and it's called the Luminous Mineral Blush Duo in Surrender. I like the packaging because it's domed but it's still kind of flat and I really love this. It's soft, it's beautiful, it has a beautiful sheen to it. You can swirl them together, wear them individually and it's pigmented so I'm going to keep that. This one is by Essence. It's Beauty and the Beats. It's like from Justin Bieber song. It's called Groupie at Heart, and I really love this color. It has a little bit of a sheen too, so I'm gonna keep that. I have a couple more City Color Cosmetic blushes. This one's called Blackberry. I love this color. It's almost like a mauve. Definitely keeping that one. And then this one is Toasted Coconut. And I'm going to keep this one as well. Right there. I have a bunch from Essence and I love all of these. I'm going to keep them all. This one is, these are the Silky Touch blushes. I have Autumn Peach. I used to use these a ton. I think the texture of them is so good and they're only like $3. So Autumn Peach. This one is Natural Beauty, which I've used a lot. As they all have a little bit of a sheen to them. This one is Sweetheart. This one is Life's a Cherry. This one actually looks like this one from Essence that was limited edition. Actually, they're different. They're, this one's more pink. That one has a little bit more red. This one is Baby Doll, and I've probably used this one the most. So that is Baby Doll. And lastly is Adorable, which is a super light blush. But I like these, all of them. So I'm gonna keep that one. So these are all from Sigma, except for that one's from Pure. That one's gonna be saved for my high-end blush one. So these are from Sigma. This one is Born to Powder Blush. It's like a mauve purple. I love it, keeping that. This one is Peaceful Powder Blush. This one's more of a highlight. So I'm actually gonna put that in my highlighter drawer. This one is Mellow Powder Brush, Powder Blush. This one looks more of a bronzer. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's more of a bronzer shade. I'm gonna move this to my bronzer drawer. Lastly from Sigma is the Serene, which is very pretty too. I'm gonna keep that. So I love all of these shades. So I'm gonna keep all these. So this one is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Coral Cheek and Lip Stain. This is a really pretty color, but I think I'm gonna use this more on my lips. So I'm gonna move this to my lip product section. So I just gotta move that. And then I have these two that were limited edition by Maybelline. This is the Wild Blossom which is such a pretty color. I'm definitely keeping this. It's very subtle, but it has a sheen to it. It's just really pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is called Golden Fuse. And again, it's kind of reminds me of the one from NYX that I got rid of because it's a little bit too orangey for me. So I'm going to get rid of this one. These two are from Topshop. My friend Karen gave me these in a swap I did with her from, she's from the UK. So this one is a beautiful color. It's called Dream Phone. It's definitely more of a like winter fall blush because it's a deeper shade, but I'm keeping it. And then this one is called Do It Again. And this is kind of like NARS orgasm so I'm gonna keep this one for now both of these for now so I have these two from Palladio and I love the Palladio baked blushes and I'm going to keep these they are not opened yet though this one's called wish I'm actually working on one that I have in this color already for my 2016 makeup use up so I'm trying to use the old one up before I open this one this one is called Rosie, and I actually don't think this one's new. No, I've used this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. It's very, very subtle, it's just a light, sheeny pink. But I'm gonna keep that one, and then this is the other one I own. This one's like NARS Orgasm, but this is probably the best in texture. I really love this one, it's called Blush. No, Blushin. So it's called Blushin. I'm gonna keep all of those. And because of that, I think I'm actually going to get rid of Do It Again from Topshop. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. So I have two here from e.l.f. Let's see, this e.l.f. one is a baked blush in rich rose. Such a pretty color. I am going to keep that one. I like to have drugstore options for my videos sometimes, so this one's Passion Pink. Keep this one. Oh, I have one more blush from e.l.f. It's called the Peachy Cheeky Blush. This one's a really pretty color. So I'm gonna keep that one. All right, these are all from Sleek. So let's see, this one is called Antique. And this one's a pretty cool shade. More of a winter type blush, but I like how it has that sheen to it really pretty so this one's life's a peach and i think i'm going to go ahead and keep that one this one is pixie pink and i think i'm going to keep this one for now too my friend karen sent me these from the uk so i'm going to keep these a little bit longer if i don't use some of them i will definitely get rid of them this one is rose gold which again is like nars orgasm but i think it's more this one's like super sheeny like look at that that one's so pretty i'm gonna keep it lastly from sleek is suede which i love this color but this this particular blush smells like a band-aid i don't know why but i really like this color and it's probably not going to show up well on me but i'm keeping that one 
And then these are from Palladio. I love all of these, you guys. Highly recommend them. I did a review on them. I will link it below. This is the Palladio Matte Blush, and they have four shades. They have all four. So this color is um, Peach Ice. Beautiful. This one is called Berry Pink. More of a cool toned berry pink color. This one is the deepest. It's called Bayberry. So that's Bayberry. Then lastly is called Toasted Apricot. This one's beautiful. I need to pull these out because I haven't worn them in a while, but I love these all really pretty shades. So next I have some from number seven, Boots number seven, and I actually have a couple more that are deep potted. Let me see if I could find them, but this is the Natural Blush Cheek Color in Candy Pink. I love this. I think I'm gonna deep pot these other two as well, but I love these. Candy Pink, this one is Coral Flush. Coral Flush. The other two I have are in here. So this one is Soft Damson. This one's really pretty. So that's Soft Damson. I'm keeping it. The sticker doesn't want to stick back on here, but this one's called Honey. This one I love too. So I'm keeping all of those. All right, so these three are from Sonia Kashuk and this one is called Melon. The old packaging is white, the newer packaging is black. So I love these. This one is called Flamingo. Keeping that. And this one is called Sunset. So this is the newer packaging. Sunset. Look at how vibrant that is. So I'm keeping all of these. Next are these from Maybelline. These are the Master Highlight by Face Studio. I don't even think they have these anymore, do they? I think they got rid of them, I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen them in store though. So this one's in Nude. I love these, definitely keeping that. And I feel like the lighting all of a sudden got super bright. All right, this one is called Coral. Keeping that one. And this one is Pink Rose. All right, so these two are from Revlon. This one's Marvelous. That's what it looks like. Has a little bit of heart pan there. From swatching it with my finger, I think. So I think I'm gonna get rid of Marvelous. Bye-bye. This one I'm keeping, it's called Naughty Nude. I've used this one a ton. It is so pretty, you guys, look. It has a beautiful sheen to it. It's not gonna swatch very good. That's probably why it has hard pan because I'm trying to swatch it with my finger so many times. But it has a beautiful sheen to it, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have these here from Wet n Wild. These are newer. So this is called Rose Champagne. It's really pretty. Kind of looks similar to the one I just showed you, but I'm keeping this one. These three I'm getting rid of. I recently bought these and I just think they're terrible. I regret buying these. Um, this one's Inner Purple Haze, Mai Tai Buy You a Drink, and Princess Daiquiris. These are the ombre blushes from Target. And why is the light reflecting? And these are just terrible. There's hardly any pigmentation and color payoff. So those are going bye-bye. This one's by BH Cosmetics. It's the Lilac Blush Duo. I really like this. So I'm going to keep it. It's 
like a highlight and a blush, but I think it's really pretty, so I'm gonna keep that one. This is so old. It's the Maybelline Expert Wear Blunt Blush and Pit Pinch O Pink. This one I've used the heck out of it. I used to love this blush, and I think it's just time to pass it on. <laughs> it's just a light shimmery pink. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. These two are the L'Oreal Project Runway Limited Edition blushes. I tried to part with these before, but I just love this color, especially. This one is so pretty. And this one is called Sultry Ravens Blush. Do you guys remember this collection? It's so old. But I love this color, so I'm going to keep it. And then this one too is Charming Cockatoo Cockatoo's Blush. And I swatched it way too heavy, so it's like flaking up. But there's a swatch of it, so I'm going to keep those. And then this one's a CoverGirl blush. It's the classic color blush in soft mink. This one kind of reminds me of the one from Revlon that I showed you in Naughty Nude. These are really fragrant. That's the only thing I will say that I don't like about it, but it is so pretty. It has a sheen to it as well, and I just really like it. So I'm keeping it. This one I'm going to put in this category. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight Powder, but it's too dark to be a highlighter for me, so it's called Crown of My Canopy. And I could use this more as a, a blush or blush topper. It's just too dark for a highlight for my skin. Or uh, I could use it as an eyeshadow too, but that's what it looks like. <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna keep it for now, but I might get rid of it eventually. We're almost done with drugstore blushes. So I have all of these from Kardashian Beauty. I love these. These are so, so pretty. You can find them at Ulta and I just, I love them all. So they all have a sheen to them. So this one's called Torch. It's just, they're all pretty. Torch. This one is Glimmer. And they look much prettier on the skin than they do on like my hand. This one is a Glow. This one is Tender. And lastly is Vivid. And I guess I have one more of these hiding in the back. This is the Maybelline Master Highlight. And this one I think was limited edition. It's called Natural. And it looks like I've never even swatched the darn thing. So I'm gonna keep this for now. And I actually think I'm going to get rid of this. I just purchased it recently, but I'm gonna get rid of it. It's the highlighter. It's just, I don't know. I probably won't ever use it, so just getting rid of it. So I also have all of these here from ColourPop that I'm gonna be keeping, I think. Let's see. Let's check them out. So this one is called Moochie. I've never even used this one before. So Moochie, I'm going to keep. This one is Prenup, and I actually really like Prenup, so I'm going to keep that one. It's very wearable. This one is Thumper. which I'm going to keep. This one's Olive. I'm going to keep that one as well. They all look kind of similar. See, this one is Birthday Suit, which I love. So Birthday Suit is Stain. This one's Between the Sheets, which I love. So between the sheets, stain. And then these three I've never worn before, so I don't know, they're kind of vibrant. This one's homey, and it looks 
discolor it around the edge there. Let's just watch it. So that's homey. See, it's I like these because they're not as intense as they look, like once you blend them out. So I will keep homey. This one's Cheerio. That one is pretty intense, but I'm gonna keep it for now. This one was limited edition, it's called Rain. And you guys know I love purple, so of course I had to buy it and I've never worn it. Let's see. Wow, it doesn't really swatch too good. That one might look muddy on me. I will try it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna get rid of it. So I decided to actually get rid of these three e.l.f. blushes. I like them, but I've never used them and I don't know that I will. I like to keep things, you know, sometimes for tutorials or just videos like comparisons or whatever, but I never use these, so I'm gonna get rid of these three. So I also have all of these Z palettes full of my Makeup Geek blushes, which I'm keeping all of them. I love the Makeup Geek blushes. I thought I would just throw them in here because they used to be, I think, $8, and now I think they're $10 each, but still very affordable, comparable to drugstores, so I'm keeping all of these. So these are all the blushes I'm getting rid of, a total of 23 blushes, which is a lot. These are just my drugstore ones, so I will have a separate video on my high-end blushes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day.